Daf Gimel and Aleph. We'll begin base on the base, three lines from the bottom. Amalei Rav Masan Labaya Atam Nehava Tartis Harahavin. So he has a question. The Mishnah says Shtaim Shein Arba Fnim Shtaim Shein Arba Bchutz. So four and four is a total of eight. Why are there only eight cases? There should be twelve cases. There's 12 cases over here because we're saying that the Mishnah is listing Hoytso and Achnasa plus the Drabonans of Hoytso Achnasa. So you have the four Derises, two cases of Hoytso, two of Achnasa. You have the Hoytso of the Ani and the Hoytso of the Balabais and Achnasa of each of them. So there's four. And then there are the Drobonans, there's the Akira without the Hanacha. But there's also the Hanacha without the Akira. So why is there only eight? There should be 12 cases. You have really eight Drobonans. You have each one of the Ani and the Balabayas that does either the Akira, he does part, he doesn't do the complete Melokha, he does the Akira without the Hanacha or the Hanacha without the Akira. And that's both by the Ani, both by the Balabayas, both by Achnasa, both by Itzos. So there should be 12 cases, not only 8 cases. Well, if you're going to include all of the cases, there's even more than 12, there's 16. Because in the very first case, when it says, in the first cases in the Mishnah, when it says that if the Ani, he does the Akira and does the Hanacha, he's high of the Balabayas as Potter. And it says similarly that the Balabayas, if he does the entire Malacha, he's high of the Ba'a, and the Ani is Potter. So you have, it says Potur, where the Ani does the complete Hajj Achnasa, and he's high of the Balabayas is Potur, where the Ani does the complete Hajj So, he's high of the Balabayas is Potur. So that's another two. And similarly, where the Balabayas, he does the complete Achnasa and Hajj So, he's high and the Ani is Potur. So you have another four cases of Potur. So there should be 16 cases of Potur. Malay, no, Halay Kasha. That's not a Kasha. Because of Baba the Reisha, the first case of the Mishnah, when it says the Anis Chayv, the Baal Bayez Potter, there, the, the meaning of Potter over there doesn't mean it's also in Roman. He didn't do anything. If the Ani picked it up from the street, brought it in, put it down in the house, or put it in the hand of the Balabayas, the Balabayas it was totally passive. He did nothing. So even though it says Potter, even though it says Potter over there, it doesn't mean Isra Drabban. There's no Isra, it's Mutter. So when we say Shtaim Shein Arba, we're not dealing with cases where there's no Isra involved. We're not dealing with a case where it's Mutter. We're dealing with a case where there is, are Isurim. So there aren't 16 cases of Isurim. And so therefore, that's not a Kasha. 16 is not a Kasha. But frankly, more Baba, the Sefer, the Potter, will also Kasha. But the Baba de Sefer, where it's Potra of Al-Osir, there it's a Kasha. We really have eight cases of the Rabbonans, which are Osir, Akir without Hanacha, Hanacha without Akir. So why isn't it, why isn't it listed? Frank the Gemara, you're telling me that the Baba de Reisha, it says Potter. When it says the Ani did the entire Achnasa, he's Chayv, the Balabai says Potter. There in the Reisha, the meaning of Potter means Mutter, and that's why it's not listed, because we're not dealing with cases of Mutter, only Yisr. Can you say that Potter means Mutter? How can you say that? Me, ke Bakula Shavas Potter Mutter? When the expression of Potter, Potter means also. We don't say Potter Mutter, Mahamar Shmuel. Shmuel said, called Petur the Shavas, Potter of Every time in the Sech Shabbos, when it says Potter, it means Potter of Alasar, Bar Mahanit Las, except these three cases, the Potter of Mutter, in these cases, it's Mutter. But otherwise, when it says Potter, it means Potter of Alasar. So, how can you say the Baba the Ratio, the beginning of the mission, when it says that the Ani is high, the Balabai says Potter, it means Mutter? Only these three cases, Potter means Mutter, otherwise, Potter, it means Potter of Alasar. It means also in Durban. What are these three cases? <clears throat> These three cases are Barman hundred class the Potter Mutter Tzedas Tzi. A case of where a person captures a deer. Now, Tzeda is one of the Avos Malachas. Hunting, trapping, capturing an animal, that's an Av Malach. The case over there in question is, <clears throat> Ruven comes and sits 
in front of the doorway or the entrance of the gate, the opening, and he blocks, he blocks the entrance. He blocks the exit. So now he trapped the deer. So the tzeda was already accomplished by him blocking the exit. Now Shimon comes and sits, and he sits in front of him. Now, if Reuven leaves, it comes out that the one who's really blocking the entranceway is now Shimon. But we don't say that Shimon is Chayev. He's Potter, and here means Potter or Mutter because the animal was already trapped from beforehand. So he didn't even do the tzeda. He is now just blocking the, the exit of an animal that's already trapped. So there is no hunting over here that's done at all. So here, even though it says that the second one that Shimon is Potter, here it means Potter Mutter. So that's one exception to where Potter normally is also. Here it means Mutter. That's one case. Would say that's Nachash, or a case where he traps a snake. And that's also hunting, that's also trapping. But if the reason he's now trapping the snake is that it doesn't injure, that's called a malacha she'ina tzrich legufa. And this will have throughout the Masecha this concept of malacha she'ina tzrich legufa, which is a machloikas, but according to Shimon, malacha she'ina tzrich legufa is potter. If a malacha has to be done for the normal purpose of the malacha, now a person hunts an animal, he traps an animal. It's the purpose for the purpose of capturing. A, he wants that animal. He wants the he captures a deer. He wants the deer. The purpose of hunting is for to be able to now to control and own and have in your possession that animal that you're trapping. Over here, the only reason that he's trapping the snake is because he doesn't want it to bite. So therefore, it's not a malacha of tzeda. It's not the normal way that the malacha is done. That's a malacha shenetzrich legufa which is normally potur, which means potur of a loss. Oh, but over here, because of, a, of the sakana, now we're not talking, as they are showing to point out, we're not talking about sakonas and the If it would be a sakonas and the fashas, it would be mutter, it would be for, for bekuch nefesh, it would be mutter. But over here, there's a sakana, which is not life-threatening, it's not sakonas and the fashas, but there's a sakana, so over here, the rabban, we're not geyser, even though normally, melocha shen, it's rechel, guvaz, also mit rabbanan, here, it's potter, which means mutter, that's a second exception. Umapis mursa. If a person a, makes a hole in, in a pus pimple, he has a boil. He has a boil and he makes a hole in it. Now, there is, what is the malach involved over here? The malach is boina. As Thaisis explains, boina, when you make an opening in, in, a, in a house or in, 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 in a certain construction, you make an opening. You make a pesach. That's called boina. If you have a house and you make a Pesach, that you're being boina. Now, normally, boina means it's to bring things in and take things out. Now, here also, the purpose, it would be boina, because if your boina is if you make in the hole to remove the, the pus from the boil and to allow in air, and you're allowing in air for air. So it would, normally you'd say that it would be boina. But if the reason that he's doing it over here is not because he wants it for a long period of time for the air to, to remain, that the hole should remain there and the air should come in. He really wants it just to remove the pain of having the pus over there. So his, again, it's a malach shein etzrich legufa. He doesn't need it for the purpose of the malach. So it's potter. And over here, Mishum Tsar, because of the pain, we say Potter Umutter and it's Mutter. So these are the three exceptions. But otherwise, Potter means Potter Velocer. So how can you say that in our Mishnah? When it says that the Ani is Chayv, the Balabai says Potter means Mutter, and therefore that's why it's not included in the number and the list of the Mishnah. We don't say, we don't say that it's 16, we say that it's only 12. How can it be? These are the only exceptions. The only exception that we have are these three cases. Otherwise, potter means also midrabbanan. And you're telling me that the anichai balabai's potter means mutter. More answers. Ki is rechlele shmuel, pturi de kavan mais. Shmuel's case, when he says these are the three exceptions, these are the three exceptions when a person does a mais, he does an action, and we say potter, it means potter mutter. Otherwise, potter means potter of a loss. 
That's when it's called the mice. Patura de la Kavad Maisa Yikatuva. But when there's no Maisa, nothing done, like in our case of the Mishnah, the Balabayas and the Rash is totally passive. The Ani picks it up from the street, he brings it on, and he puts it in the Balabayas' hand. The Balabayas is totally passive. In that case where he's totally passive, it says, Potter, many cases where there's no Maisa, there's no action, it's Potter, it can mean Mutter. And that's what it means in our Mishnah, the Ani Chai, the Balabayas, Potter means Mutter, and therefore it's not listed. <laughs> but frankly, Makarmi Kol Malkam Tati Sari Hava, but in any event. Okay, there's not 16, but there's 12. There's eight to Rabbonans. There is Akira without a Hanocha, Hanocha without an Akira. Both Haitso, both Ahachnosa, both with Ani, both with Walabayas. More answers. Petura, Das Videl Rechiv Chatas, Kachash, the Layas Videl Rechiv Chatas, like Achash. We're not, it's true that there are eight the Rabbonans, but the Tana does not list the case of Hanacha without Akira. The more severe the Rabbonan is an Akira without a Hanacha. Because if somebody does an Akira, he lifts it up, he takes it down. Now, even if the other per party takes it from him and puts it down, so he didn't do the Hanacha, but he could come Lide Amalacha. Because if he picks it up, and he takes it out, he could bring it down. So it's a more severe Durabana because it could lead to a Malacha Dereis. Those are the Durabanans that the Tan includes. But the Hanacha, if once one person did the Akira, for instance, if the Balabais did the Akira, now the Ani does the Hanacha, he cannot come to a Dereisa because the Akira was done already by someone else, by the Balabais. So that cannot lead to a, a, a Dereisa. It cannot lead to completing the malacha. So the Tana did not list that because that's a, a secondary category of a Durabonan. So the question arises, well, if in fact it cannot lead to a Duraisa, to a malacha, why did the Rabbanan answer the Hanacha without an Akira? The Sassamus explains because even though in this case it can, but a person might think, he might think that doing a Doing an Akira, doing a partial, doing a Hanukkah is fine, doing an Akira is fine, and that could lead to a complete Malacha. So though, even though in this particular case it's not going to lead to a Malacha, but it could in the future lead to a Malacha. Al Kolponim, the Tana is not including, even though it's also in the Rabbon and Hanukkah without an Akira, the Tana is not including it in the list of Isurim. The list of Isurim is only the Akira without Hanukkah, so therefore we only have eight cases of Isurim. If one does the Akira, one does the Hanukkah, they're both potur. There's no derisa. I, Frek the Gemara of Hasavida, Malacha, Mibe Nayu. A Malacha is done between the two of them. A Malacha is done. So, in any event, a Haitso is done. So, why should we say they're both potur? So, what is now the understanding over here? The Malacha is done. So the Gemara is understanding it. Well, in fact, at the end of the day, a malach is done. A malach is done, therefore, there should be a chib. Who's chayev? So according to Taisus, he learns that the one that completes it, the havamina is that the one that completes it, he's the one that should be chayev because it's through him that the malach was completed. So the kasha right now is, is the havamina of the Gemara is, there's a malach that was done, I saw was done, the one that completed it, he should be chayev. Other Achreinim suggest perhaps, Bnei Yeshua, other suggest that perhaps they should both be Chayef because the Malach was done and they both contributed to it. Tanya Rebbe, I'm a Ma'am Ha'aretz Ba'asoysa. It says, Ma'am Ha'aretz Ba'asoysa, Ha'is es Kulo, Velo Yoyes es Miksos. It's Ma'am Ha'aretz Ba'asoysa, it has to be done completely, completely by one person. If two people, a combination, jointly, if they do the Malacha, their peturim. The chiyav is if it's done, the malach is done entirely by one person. Yachid also is a chayev. If a yachid does it, it's done entirely by one person, he's chayev. Shnayim also is a peturim. But if it's done jointly, it's done b'shutfis by two people, by more than one person, then they're peturim. It was thrown from the Chabura, as mentioned by, in the name of the Chabura. When they said, If one person does the Malacha, he's Chayat. But if it's done 
jointly it's done in partnership done by more than one person even though the malacha was carried out but if it's done more than by more than one person they're peturim Thank you.